All right, folks. Um, this is gonna be the daddy off of the um, the new babies, and he is going to be a giant runt cross. I'm not exactly sure what else is in him, but he is a giant runt. Pretty good sized bird, easy buddy. Pretty good sized bird. He is almond colored. Um, but as you can see, I mean, he's a beautiful bird, beautiful patterns. He's just something we picked up one day and wasn't really planning on keeping him. After I saw him, I really didn't want him, but my wife, Jerica, fell in love with him. So she has named him Thomas Selleck because he is a player. He will steal all the other hens if they're not careful. But this is the daddy off the little babies. And uh, I'm going to show you the, the mama here in a second. Um, I've showed y'all them before, but I'm not sure if you remember or not. But this is a weird combination. I mean, very, very weird indeed. Um, yeah, um, one of the weirdest combinations I've ever seen. But like I said, I'll be right back with you. I'll show you all the mama. Then we'll show you all the babies. And this is the mama to the babies. As you can see, one hand with her. I just hold her two hands, keep her calm. But uh, she is just a Birmingham roller. Plain little old full-blooded Birmingham roller. Uh, I said she's very pretty too. Has that bronze in her wings. White flights. Dark tail and little bald head. But this is the mama to the babies. Yes, the biggest bird in my loft has paired up with the smallest bird. Didn't know if the eggs would actually be fertile. They did hatch a few days ago, almost a week ago now. I haven't had time to do a video. I do apologize about that. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the babies now. And it's one of those kind of just the, um, just a face that only a mother could love. So I'll be right back with those. Here's the, the babies. Let me get them turned around here. Uh, this is both of them, little mates. And uh, this is just, they're already way bigger than what my normal babies would be. Normally at four or five days, they would fit in the palm of my hand. These right here are already just like blowing up. So they're gonna be very large, large babies. Um, looks kinda like mama that's not here. She's got the black saddle and the white flights, white back, that dark tail. This one over here is gonna have a, a different pattern. So we're just gonna wait a little bit longer, a couple more weeks and see how they feather out. We'll see what kind of pattern they got. But here they are, in case you can't see. Just the cutest little thing in the world. Like I said, just a face that only a mother can love. So, these will be half, half Birmingham roller. Uh, giant run and whatever else is in him so fun 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 I'm gonna show you the other birds we got bait on them they're already flying around they're fully feathered let me show you them real quick and I'll show you some baby chicks and that'll be in the video be right back here's some of the other babies uh, this one and this one down here is our litter mates nest mates what you want to call them this one over here is off the checks. And then uh, this one up here is off of Ali and Noah. The yellow hen and the uh, red check cock. So there's all four of the babies. They're almost ready to start flying around the yard a little bit or in the loft. So it won't be long. I'll be turning them loose. And we'll let y'all watch that. Make a whole nother video. But uh, in case y'all didn't notice in the last video, I think I might have showed y'all if I didn't. But uh, Ali and Noah are back on another set of eggs. So, easy buddy. There they are. So, let's see if I can get the focus in. Anyway, they're on two eggs. Ow. He'll bite the mess out of you. So, Ali and Noah are back on another nest, and that's the only ones I've got on the second nest so far. But uh, if everything goes right, I have talked to a couple of guys and I should have some like really well-bred high dollar um, birds coming here in the next couple of weeks, the next couple of months. Um, 
they will try to breed some up for me. So hopefully that'll work out and we'll have a whole nother loft look before long. But let me go show you the um, baby chicks I just put in the brood this morning and then I'll be right back. All right, some of these are mixed in with the others. Um, some of these chicks here are like a week, week and a half old. The ones that's moving around so fast. The other ones that's lazy and just laying here are the ones I just put in this morning. They're all mixed in right now, so there's no way to really tell you what's what. So you just have to look around and pull them out yourself. I know that uh, I did hatch off a handful or just a couple from a boss man, and this is one of them. Sorry, come here. That's one of them. And there's another one in here somewhere. There she is back in the back. Looks exactly the same. And then this fluffy little critter right here. There's another one of his. So, and then the other one. Sorry, camera's shaking around. Is right there. So, but then I have got, like I said, several of them that's mixed in. Uh, I may have to separate out brooders. Like I said, these big ones are running them over. I usually don't do that. They're really nice most of the time, but they're not trying to peck at them or hurt them. They're just stepping all over them. And some of these right here are like really, really small. I've got one right here that's way smaller than any of the rest of them. He's a little bitty thing. And that should be off the Virgil and uh, Ginger pair, my blacks. But I got him solid black. This one right here is going to be a little brown red. Oop, I messed my finger. Hmm. Give me a little brown red. This over here should be a little brown red. And some of these others. So, and then like I said, we should have got a few uh, spangles mixed in here and there. Come on, buddy. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway, but there's the new babies. Uh, should have got two more left in the incubator. And then I will start one last incubator up for the year. That's going to be it. Uh, I've got two still full of eggs. And I'll put one more in the next day or two. Start it over and that'll be it for the year. I'm done incubating eggs this year. It's way too much. Anyway, there's your update on your babies. Oh, I want to show you the other ones real quick. I got you out here, the older babies. They are uh, getting very, very large. They're already starting to fly up on the little perches and all that. So, but there they are. They're getting humongous too, so. All right. We'll see y'all next time. Bye for now.